What's going on guys, thank you for joining me today. I'm gonna be doing an installation video, except this one's going to be a little different. I'm gonna be doing a simple color swap on this controller and it's gonna be for someone. I already showed before how to customize your PS5 controller, so I'm actually just gonna do a time lapse for it. But I want you guys to see what the controller will look like at the end. I'm not really gonna talk much for this video, but stick around if you wanna see the color swap for this control. Before I do start, I had uploaded a community post. I just wanted to say thank you and it was pretty cool to see that some people had participated. I do have a quick question for you guys. Both of my controllers have that thumbstick that has the rounded center and that's pointing up. But for this controller, I believe these thumbsticks are concave. So you can see how that center part is different from this controller. This one's popping out. This one's more sunk in. Does anybody else have that under control? All right, down to business. Let's check what we got here today. This is the Atomic Purple Shell, and it actually comes with everything, which means the front shell, back shell, trim, and all the buttons. It also comes with extra rings in case you guys need it. Here's the touchpad, buttons, and also transparent purple thumbsticks. Like always, it'll be packed with tools and screws and also your warranty card. And like always, you can find this on the Gaming Cobra website. If you use my referral link, you can get a 10% discount. Or also if you use my discount code, which is I'm a caveman. I just realized that one thing that isn't provided is the PS symbol. I thought there was going to be a transparent purple PS symbol with it, but there isn't. Here's what I'm going to be using for the video. The included prying tool. Ceramic tweezers just to grab little things. And here's the screwdriver that I like to use. I can't wait to see what this is gonna look like. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy the show. One thing I noticed missing was that screw right there. So that's how you know that this control has been opened up before. I'm assuming maybe that's why this control has the concave thumbsticks. This part requires a heat gun or a blow dryer if you want to change your touchpad to a different one. To swap this board here, I need to apply heat right here on the back. You can do a little around this area also, mainly on the back here to loosen up the glue. It'll be easier for the board to come out 
and I think this way is better, especially if it's with a transparent touchpad so that the glue doesn't look too bad when you put it on this since you're actually going to be able to see the glue and the board. I'll be back once I remove the board from this touchpad. I removed the board, this is what it looks like when it's removed. Usually some of the glue would end up being on the board but most of it ended up staying on the touchpad. So I cleaned it up a little bit and it'll actually look a lot better once it's on the touchpad. Just found another missing piece. There's supposed to be a spring right here for the trigger, just like this one. You can see how this one doesn't have it and it's not even on the mat, never dropped, nothing. So I'm guessing someone tried messing with the, what is this, R2 trigger. finally done and it actually looks better than I thought it would. I'm really happy about how the touchpad came out. You can see how it's clean because the glue didn't end up staying on the board. Overall it's a nice color and the shell fit perfectly. It has a nice smooth feel to it and I would definitely recommend this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for the continuous support and I'll be back on the next one.